All right, good day, everyone. Good morning. Listen, I'm out in an undisclosed location today, and I just thought I would film out here. I'll give you guys a glimpse in a minute, but when you see it, when you see where I am, you'll be like, oh, wow, that's interesting. And you know, as I'm out here, I was reminded of uh, Psalm chapter eight, verse four, um, you know, where it says, what is man that you're mindful of? him you know or the son of man that you would visit him and i was thinking about this because just to consider how god made the heavens actually even in that um the previous verse he, he says basically he's considering that the the universe and everything god's made and i mean the universe is massive but even here like just to be here on on earth is crazy it's just an insane thing and to see how god has made everything here look i'm gonna i'm gonna circle around hopefully you guys don't get too much wind as i do this i'm out here this is actually uh i'm in joshua tree national park in california and it's just massive out here it's crazy you can just go wherever you want. You realize how massive this small area is massive. Even here, you've got this. I don't know if you can see this, but up here, there's somebody. Probably a couple people up there. My kids are up there, right? It just looks like a pile of rocks, not that big, until you see that, that person right on top up there. And it's interesting, that's the first helicopter or airplane I've, I've heard out here since I've been here. But to look at the, the size and the vastness of this place, you know, when I swing around, you see this, you see all of that, you know, it just goes on and on. There's my little van, it's like a toy out there, you know, and it, it goes so far so massive this is just the earth you know you look at it and, and it really does make you feel small you're just a speck out here in all of this and it makes you realize just the greatness of god the, the massive size of his creation it's going to get windy a little bit when i come around this corner here but it'll be worth it you just, you know, you're out in the, the crazy thing is you, it's just so quiet out here and peaceful. Um, a lot different than, uh, than where I live, you know. It's an amazing thing when you look at all of this vastness. And I know it's just a tiny bit. Right? I'm gonna get out of the wind here just a tiny bit and then you look at the earth and it's like I'm a speck on the earth and the earth is just a speck in the galaxy and the galaxy is just a speck or the earth is a speck in the solar system a speck in the galaxy and that's just the speck in the universe you know the size of it that god the heavens declare the glory of god the vastness the richness of it out here and then you see all of this and jesus didn't come to save this he didn't come to save this these rock formations it's interesting you when you're here, you see all of these signs, you know, keep it clean, do your part to protect our, our gift, you know? And, and I really appreciate that people do that here. You see it here especially, but um, this is not what Jesus came for. He came for us. It puts things into perspective, you know? He came because he wanted to save us. He wasn't worried about 
you know, lava formations. He wasn't worried. These, these were just things that he did to bless us, you know. He put all of this stuff here so that my kids could climb around on it. I say kids, but they're they're adults at this point for the most part. You know, they're way up there. Ah, this is so hard to do. You should, I don't even know if you can see it, but they're up there. So anyways, I just thought it would be awesome since I was here to take a minute to film uh, some of the beauty of the creation that God's given us here. And not, not with the intention of worshiping this place, but with the intention of glorifying God and worshiping him for his greatness. And all of this, just his creative genius, you know. I love this. Let me show you something. I, I, love, I love this sort of thing. When you see down in a valley and you see these, you know, like layers after layer after layer of mountains back in the background. I really dig that. But you know what? I mean, this is, this is not, this is not the focus here. If I came out here and I worshiped this, man, what an empty life I would lead. This, to, to worship the earth or, you know, oh, mother nature, all this weird nonsense people are doing these days. It's to see this and say, man, this just gives you a glimpse of the understanding of who God is, how powerful and how majestic he is, and then to consider his grace and his love for saving and rescuing me. So anyways, I hope that encourages you today. I hope you have a great day. And um, thanks so much for watching as usual. Take a second, if you would, to leave me a comment. I'd like to hear. Uh, if you've never been here before, that's kind of interesting if you've never seen this. And of course, I say Joshua tree uh, because these really strange trees that are around, like that one right over my shoulder, that's, that's a Joshua tree. Everything out here is sharp and thorned. There's some cactus out here that's just brutally... I don't have one here, but... Um, that's it's part of the unique this unique place so if you haven't been here leave me a comment whatever if you have and you love it you know that's cool too anyways may the lord richly bless you and i will see you again tomorrow god bless you